Hello, my name is Christopher Busek with DWD Technology Group, and today I'm going to show you how to use Visual Integrator to export data from Sage 100. Have you ever wanted to pull information from Sage 100 to get it into Excel format? This is allowing you to manipulate the data, look for trends, or even alter data for bulk import for mass amounts of data within Sage 100. All of this, the exporter will allow you to do. And then once you have altered the information, you are then able to re-import it into Sage. That will have to be a later video. The following will discuss how to use Visual Integrator to export information from item maintenance. I'm using that as a particular example, but the good thing about Visual Integrator is you can use it to export information from any table you would like. Now, the best way to think of the exporter is a tool for pulling information from Sage's database into Excel format. There are other ways to do this, such as using the Explore feature found at the bottom of the modules, but this gives you access to all tables within Sage. Also, learning this can make importing information easier since there are many similarities and parallels. What I mean by the Explore feature is this here, but we will be covering that most likely in a different tip. Now we're going to create our own export. Let's just go ahead and call this CI item. Example. Next, we're going to go to the CI item table and we're going to select accept. Now it's going to say, hey, is this a new job? Well, yes, it is. We're going to click yes. Here we're going to see CI item table. That is going to be the table. If we realized, oops, we, we accidentally selected the wrong table, we can go ahead and change that. Now we have the long description. This is mainly for a note. So we're just going to say, created for example, for 24, 2024. And here we have file delimited. Now, if you want a CSV, you're going to want to keep this as a comma. Unfortunately, some data sets will not allow you to do so. We're going to assume that the data set that we're pulling does not uh, or contains commas within the data set. So I'm actually going to, instead of having a comma delimiting, I'm going to put this little caret here. Now, CSV stands for comma separated value. So Excel isn't going to be looking for this when you try to open it. We're going to have to do some Excel magic in order to split this properly. But unfortunately, a lot of data sets within Sage 100 do contain commas, so this is a, this is necessary on occasion. The export file will show you where you want to export your file to. Now, first you have to tell Sage, well, where do we want to put this? We're going to go ahead to put it there, and let's just go ahead and throw that here. We can call it something along the lines of CI hyphen item example. Now we're going to want to specify that this is a CSV. Go ahead and click OK. Next, these two aren't used that much. That's if you want to put a password on your on your document. Really, if you're doing a typical export, your next step is going to be going to here. And you're going to want to click export column names as first record. This will show your column name at the top of your export. And then read display only fields for export. By selecting this, you're allowing to, to, to see and export uh, more fields than you would normally be able to. Next, we're going to decide what information from the CI item table we wish to export. We're going to begin with item code. That is the identifier for the CI item table. Next, we're going to select the item code description which is typically how the item code is known. And then we're going to select inactive item. This is saying whether or not an item is active or not. We want to be able to pull um, item code, item code description, and we want to see which items are active versus inactive. Now, if we double click on this, we can see something called column slash position. This is telling us what column this is going to show up on in our export. So here we see one, two, and three. That means our first column in Excel is going to be item code. Second, the description. Third, inactive item. Next, we're going to go to select. This is what we can use to filter our results. For our example, we're going to be filtering by item type. We want to only see regular items. So we're going to go into here. We're going to have it say equals for the relation. And we're going to say selection value as one. And go ahead and accept. 
Now for Sage 100, one means it's a regular, regular item. Three is reserved for a charge item. Four is a comment item. And five is a miscellaneous item. We only want to see regular items, so we're saying only if item type is equal to one. Now we're gonna go ahead and accept. This is a way you can sort the data as it comes out. Say you want to put it alphabetically. This is a way you can do that. It's gonna ask, do you wanna execute this job? I'm gonna say yes. And it's going to say, okay, well, this is the location where you're telling us to put it. Just, it's confirming that. Now, if I, if I realized I may have made a mistake, I can select here to go back to job maintenance. I can make whatever change I need to. And go ahead and select accept. Yes, execute the job. Log shows the log of the last time this was ran. Test allows for the testing of your export. So it shows records read 119, records exported 90, and skipped is 29. Remember, the reason it's skipping these files is because we added a filter. And it says, do you want to view the job log? Sure. Uh, it says, oh, record not selected. Well, why is that? It just said record not selected, but that's because it is a, not a regular item. Right, we're going to go ahead and click accept. Uh, do you wish to export records? Yes. Do you want to view the job log? No. So we can go ahead and go to here, go to here, go to here, and here we will see our new export. And go ahead and open that. And here we can see that this doesn't quite look right. So remember, if it was a CSV, it's looking for commas. We said the delimiter was these little carrots here. Well, Excel isn't going to like that. And so it's just going to put everything into column A. The way we fix that is by going to data, going to text to columns, delimited, click next, other. We're going to put the caret because that is what we used as a delimiter. We're going to go ahead and select next. We want it as general. We're going to go ahead and select finish. Then we're going to go ahead and click OK. And as you can see here now, we have three individual columns and we went ahead and we got we got this information right out of Sage using the export tool. And now we can manipulate the data in any way, shape or form we want in order to gain more insight into the information within Sage 100. Now, I hope this has been helpful for you. And if you have had if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to DWD Technology Group. Thank you very much. And I hope you have a great day. Bye bye.